He's fighting for his life. Darrell Ewing was granted a new trial four years ago, but he still waits. Did you commit the murder? Tonight, the defenders investigate the case involving a murder at this intersection, another man's confession, and a case of juror misconduct. She apologized. She said she felt like she did a horrific thing. Three times since 2017, federal and state court judges have ordered a new trial for Darrell Ewing, finding his constitutional right to a fair trial was violated a decade ago by juror misconduct. Now, the story doesn't end there. Since his conviction, another man has come forward admitting to the murder Ewing is convicted of. Tonight, a closer look at this case that is about to be before a judge in a matter of days. What really happened here at the intersection of Harper and Van Dyke on December 29th, 2009? According to prosecutors, two cars pulled up to this east side intersection. In one was J.B. Watson, his girlfriend and his cousin. In the other, two black men. One of those men got out and fired multiple shots, killing Watson. So who was the gunman? Prosecutors say the shooting was gang related. Darrell Ewing and Derek O'Searcy were part of the Hustle Boys and were convicted of the murder. But that's not where the story ends. It's actually where the story starts. It's a clear case of innocence, a clear case of error. I recently talked to Darrell Ewing from prison. He's served more than 11 years. He's in for life, no chance for parole. Talk to me about Hustle Boys because there's a lot of different descriptions of Hustle Boys. You are saying it's more of a party planning business, other people are calling it a gang. Well, they, they, they label now anything a gang that has two or more people with it. And it actually was actually uh, incorporated and everything, had a, had a business name, everything that we was throwing parties and making money off of. Ewing says he's innocent and was here at the Barden Hall on Whittier Avenue in Detroit the day of the shooting for a family member's funeral. Family testified he was there, but that alibi was not enough to clear him. He and Cersei were convicted of murder. Something happens in that juror room that really changes everything. Yes, but the really critical thing that they did wrong was to go on Google and become Google experts on gang hierarchy. Christine Padgett is Ewing's attorney in regards to the juror misconduct part of the case. And then this one juror who had had been what they call a holdout, right? She, she wasn't voting uh, guilty. They were hung. She's like, oh, that, that Google research you did sounds very persuasive. Soon afterward, the jury came back with a guilty verdict. In time, the juror misconduct would come to light and three different judges would order a new trial for Ewing and Cersei. A new trial could be interesting as jurors would likely hear from Tyree Washington. He came forward after Ewing was convicted. To me, it seems like it doesn't be about the truth, it'd be about closing the case. And that's the reason why we are trying so hard to get him home. It's been 11 years now. Lasagna Dotson is Ewing's mother. She spends her time and money on her son's defense. But you never search the home. You don't have a gun. You know, you don't have the weapon. But you don't search the home of the shooter. You know, it just didn't make sense from jump. She wants the new jury to hear Washington's murder confession and is tired of all the delays. How much can we spend in taxpayers' money? Keep going from judge to judge to judge to judge. Meantime, his family keeps fighting in court, holding protests, and getting signatures for petitions. Because you feel like the fight never ends, and you don't want to give up, you know? You don't want to give up. You, you got to keep fighting. I did reach out to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office and was told this is a case where we believe that the charges are appropriate based upon the facts and evidence that we presented in the first trial. That is why we will be retrying this case. Our next court hearing is on May 19th, 2021. Now, despite that, Ewing had pleaded, pleaded guilty to a drug trafficking and conspiracy charge, sentenced to 15 years. So whether he gets the retrial, he won't get out soon. But still, he says he wants a fair trial and have that life sentence dropped.